Johnson. Back for the Trojans. So I started football when I was at uh, Port City and I started at center, hiking the ball. It gave me a great feel of the football. I was able to hike it to a quarterback and start the process. Felt like I was doing something great. And, you know, I started from there. <clears throat> then I went off to going to the Pee Wee level, which is what we call uh, darts and cats, which is the, the Pee Wee level. And uh, that's when I became a running the ball a little bit, a running back, which my coach allowed me to do. And I took the ball to the house one, uh, one time, and that's when it started for me, and I felt like this is this is when I go up from here. So, yeah, when it came down to my uh, first year of uh, middle school football, I remember like it was yesterday. It felt like it was one of those dark days you know, of learning and having to sit back and take a, a seat to the people that have been there. So once I did that and uh, gave myself a chance to, you know, learn the, the system and learn how people want to, you know, come up and attack as far as uh, tackling. <clears throat> I felt myself uh, learning how to tackle better, catch the ball. I felt myself, um, you know, starting to come up in, a, in the middle school era. Uh, that's when uh, people like, uh, you know, Coach Anise uh, in the high school level start noticing me. You know, gaining more uh, more speed on everyone, or getting past everyone. You know, giving people uh, you know a little little shake and turn up field with some speed. The high school coach was liking that. You know, looking at uh, you know one of the younger brothers of a uh, high school quarterback at the time, Orlando Walton, my high school brother, was uh, really doing numbers out there as a, as a quarterback. You know, throwing touchdown passes and turning around the corner on these guys with some speed that, you know, people never really seen come through Muskegon. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I try to take that on in the middle school level as a quarterback, same number, number one. You know, and I did okay. And then I did it uh, again at my ninth grade level of, of, of high school, which was a uh, 9-0 season. What would you say to the And the Lord spoke to me. He said, I want you to tell me Whoever the coach of the school that he decides to go to, he said, I want you to tell them that he's going to be a blessed coach, that I will take him to the next level. He said, I want you to tell that school, whoever he chooses, that I will bless him because what they have coming to them is a gift from God. And then I come to a 10th grade season, which, uh, you know, the, the head coach, uh, decided to bring me up and make me a, a star wide receiver and a defensive back, which I didn't think I was ready for, to be honest. But to tell you, you know, it was something that I had accomplished and put under my belt. It wasn't easy. That's where it all started at. I was at Muskegon Big Reds making things happen. Got three rings coming out of this thing, man. Hey, you know, anything's possible. So I'm trying to over here get these kids out of here, get these kids showing me that they're great too, just like I am. You know what I mean? Because this is what we're going to get it at. Big Reds, baby. So, hey, uh, you know, to all the little kids out there, to everybody that's that's just like me, hey, uh, you know, you can't never give up. We're in the gutter sometimes, you know, but at the end of the day, you get out. And when you get out, you make great decisions. Great decisions giving you Rose Bowl championships, giving you MVPs, you know what I mean? So, you know, it ain't too much I can say, man, besides just keep working hard. So my workouts, I like to incorporate the snake which I know a lot of people can't do is wide receivers. They look very awkward or they got their arms a little outside instead of pumping like you're running. And uh, I think I perfected a lot of that. So I believe that you know I'm a, I'm a different type of wide receiver and getting in and out of breaks and, and doing this, this type of drill will make you more superior than others. It came down to me coming to my 11th grade season, my, my junior year. So when I had my balls, you know, I, I really got got into it. I'm ready to, to really show up and show what I learned my my first year of varsity, you know, with some bigger guys. 
And uh, we won state that year too. So I really had to bring it again my junior year. Um, Sally, but you know, I told my ACL my, after my third game, I really had to sit back and watch everyone, uh, you know, kind of look at me as a as a sad moment. But I just really was able to see how uh, big of a difference I was to my peers. You know, not just on the football level, but in the classroom and you know, walking down the street. You know, I was uh, a person that people can talk to. But uh, learning myself more was uh, my, my 11th grade season, uh, knowing that, you know, I had to sit out and uh, look at my friends and my uh, family play <laughs> at the time. So my senior year coming up with a ACL brace on, gearing up, making sure I was ready to take on the season and try to get us a championship, which turned out to a success. My 12th grade season was really big for me. It was something that really had to make me grow. I had to really become an outstanding player or an outstanding man out there. Um, I had to step up into a place that I didn't know or see a blueprint for. Decision making in college, for my college, was based on me becoming a better player and a better person in life. But at the same time, I had to make a decision for myself. I don't regret going to USC over Michigan because I felt in Michigan I was able to make myself a better player and a better person worldwide, put myself on a broader stage. But I would say Michigan is a great place to play, which I think anybody else would never have turned down. It's more than just a route. It's precision, an expression of athleticism. Ronald Johnson and Robert Woods are artists when it comes to route running. Just using the ball when it's in the air and you know, having that tenacity and that, you know, that fight just to want to win all the time. A perfect combination of speed, agility, and intelligence. It was nice knowing that I have such great weapons on either side of me at any given time. Deciding factor in USC's success for the remainder of the season. Play football, get some of that energy out, you know. That's why I started, me and young bro. 